All right, all right, let's get it, get it, get it popping, get it cracking out this piece. What's good, fam? You know what the vibes is here. This video we're going to talk about, does the modern woman crave toxic femininity and manipulation of her men or of men in these days and times? All right, so this is about women gaining control in a relationship, taking the power, harnessing the power in a relationship to have the leverage. When it comes to the, the dynamic itself, creating the, the the appearance and the energy of being the prize. We're going to talk about that. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, comment below. We'll get into the details of all this right here. If you're new to the channel, you're welcome. Sign up. Lock yourself in. When you hear your family, when your family, we got you. Don't go away. So oftentimes, you know, women that do this, this is calculative. Guys do it too. We're talking about women in this case. And women, if you're dealing with a guy like this, this can apply to you as well. This works either way. Switch the genders, switch some of the roles, and this will still work. Let's talk about control and manipulation in a relationship, right? That, that takes someone to care less about the other person. So that's a calculated way of getting your way, right? And this is manipulative, like I said, but it's also negative. So you can't be in your true, you know, you can't create a positive environment when you operate from this from this position. Let's take, for example, Jada and Will. Since they want to be in the news, let's talk about them. I like them both, but there's an incident here that perfectly clears this up. And it's not going to go away until we talk about this stuff and, and understand, you know. We need to understand that, you know, we have to have more continuity, right? If you're going to be in a relationship, these things take continuity. They take patience. They take compromise. Now, I'm not saying who's right, who's wrong, what happened, history, all that. But in general, it's a perfect example. For Now, when women are English, they want a man to leave most times, right? But what happens with men, a lot of times men get comfortable or the woman will get comfortable. But when the two get comfortable, sometimes the roles get kind of intertwined, right? And this happens a lot of times with guys when they fall into that beta male mindset. So I'm going to give you a few things here that we look at. And if these guys, these things pop up, guys, you got to recognize it and say, Yo, I'm acting out of my way because she's going to behave differently. She'll stop pulling back, doing things that is out of the regular character because she doesn't feel attractive anymore to you. She's losing attraction. There's a reason she loses attraction. It's not her fault. She's losing to something you're doing that you're not doing, right? It's one of the two. You're either doing something right or you're doing something wrong. And if you do something wrong, you're going to feel it. You're going to know about it. She's going to pull back. She won't say nothing to you pretty much, but she'll probably pull back first. If it goes on long enough, she'll start that starts saying she's not happy or whatever, whatever. But let's get into some of these, these few key things that if you see these things pop up, guys, you know you got to get back on the right track and you're falling off a little bit. No intimacy, lack of communication. Why? Intimacy is bonding and connecting. If she's holding back on the sex, that's a reward. That's a giblet. That's a, that's a little, uh, 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 you know, prize for your present when you act good. If you're on your best behavior, you'll get some goodies. You'll get a good doggy biscuit. Now, no biscuits means bad dog. She's not saying that. She's just not feeling like anything right now. She doesn't feel the love, right? So a woman that does this purposely is creating the power of what she has between her legs is going to be currency. It's going to create more leverage on her part. Why? Because it's supply on her side and it's demand on here. A guy that doesn't have his that doesn't have uh, his own ground or doesn't stand on his own firm two feet, doesn't believe in himself, creates a scarcity mindset. Now, for example, with Will Smith, he can get any girl. He can get girls. He's married though, right? They have an open relationship. Who knows how this goes? But when Jada does this. He responds 
differently. So that right there is subliminal. In other words, if you don't do this, you don't do the goodie, you don't do this, this, and that, you don't get the goodies, right? You don't get the prize. So that makes someone, that'll demoralize a man's ego. That's the idea. This is part of the power trend. And so far, he's compliant to that. Not a good place. She's already got him on the ropes. Next one. This causes him to chase. Chase her validation. Now, you're married. You ain't got to do that. That's You should never do that. Her respect, her communication, you talk to her, you have her. That's not happening right now. If she's making you chase her validation, jumping around and doing hoops, that's like you're doing it with somebody you just met or you're trying to impress on a date. Trying to impress her is... For example, this, like I said, with Will Smith, for example, he's already impressive with his resume. But to her, she's like, ah, that's all right. That don't mean much. Right? So to him, it's like, oh, man, not good enough yet. How do I be good enough? It's doing these things to validate her. Just like he did going up on stage and slapping Chris, Chris Rock and then turn around like, look what I did. Came back, sat down. With her, she probably was like, yeah, that was cool, whatever. And he goes, not good enough. They start yelling, keep your my wife name out your mouth. Keep your, and it was, it just went over the top. Now, is that good? That's good. I'm going to be the goodies now. Then she was happy with it. After that, she was okay with it. Instead of her calming him down, no, don't get up. Don't, just relax. Stay down. And, and let's, 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 we'll talk later about this. Why? That's what a woman does when she wants peace in her heart. She's peaceful here. She wants peace and tranquility. She's ahead of the game. She wants, no, that's not going to, we'll deal with it later. No. Go, are you going to move up or what? You'll get going? And he gets moving. Right up. Boom. Jumps up the, up the boogie, runs down the, down the, on the stage and, and puts in work for her. First he was laughing. Then was it? Easily intimidated by her. She's got the power. She's making a power move. It makes him look weak to everybody else watching, which is the world. And he gets a he gets a prize, an Oscar. Doesn't really, you know, what a night. What a night. And I got to bring that up because this happens all the time, guys. Women have toxic femininity. They come to manipulate a guy. And guys do this, not at that broad scale, but to that effect. And this is why I'm bringing it up. They do it to this effect as well. On a lower scale, naturally. And we don't get to see it in real time. We've seen it in real time. Guys, avoid all this and hold your presence. Hold your frame, period. He's out of his frame here. Not a good look. Emotional manipulation. Puts him in the provider mode. He's the man. He's making the money, for example. Any guy that's making the money, he's doing his thing, but she doesn't value that money, which is bullshit, but hypergamy says she must value the finances, right? Modern women will value the finances first. That's what they do, and it's hypergamous in nature. If it wasn't, the woman wouldn't be there. She would be somewhere else where she'd be much more happier. Jada, for example, sitting in a place she's not happy She's not. So she's not happy. And why won't she leave? The value. He still has financial value. He's a provider male. Big time. She had an entanglement. That was a lover provider. Lover provider. Why does she go with the lover? Hypergamy. All right. So, guys, it's, that's a Jada Will level. But on the normal people level, the same thing goes on. And the same rules apply. Provider, lover. The provider is the sucker. She's not wrapping up herself around the provider. In this case, this is about modern women. They're looking for hypergamy. That's why she didn't leave. He's got status. All that. Almost destroyed his status, but she's still. Status, this, this, and that. She's not going it with the lover. Lover can't help her financially. Hypergamy overrules all that. She's the judge. In the situation, she's the decider. She decides what the family's going to do. She decides how happy she wants to be when it comes to this guy. The woman that wants to decide or she feels she's the prize, she wants to put herself 
in the price position. This gives her power. Like I said, power, manipulation, power, manipulation. I'm the prize. I'm first. Me, me, me. When I'm good, you'll be good. Take care of me. I'll take care of you. No, it should be we take care of each other. That's how it should be. That's how it should read. Traditional women already know this already. It's like, no, you know what? Together, we're going to move. We're going to walk together. We're going to hold hands together. Jump in the bra jumping over the broom together. <laughs> Jump over the bridge together. But we're going to do it together. It's not one or the other. You do this for me, tit for tat. That's petty, right? The modern woman's very petty. And this doesn't work in any relationship. I don't care money or not. You rich or you're broke. It doesn't fly. Man shaming, brow beating, doing things that he does something he wants to do and she doesn't want to, she's not on board with it. She'll give him a big sigh or a huff or that's boring or why are you doing that? Criticizing. And it gives him doubt. And the guy that wants to please this woman, he's going to have doubts. What's the matter? Should I do it? Should I? I don't want to do that. I don't know why you're doing that. That's stupid. She puts it down. She lacks support. Woman that's in love with her man, she's gonna support his little silliness. She may want to get involved. What are you doing over there? Oh, I'm doing this thing here. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the fishing rods together. I'm about to go fishing, you know. Oh, can I go? Wants to learn. She wants to go on an adventure. She wants to explore. Today's morning woman, they don't want to do that. That's stupid. That's boring. You know, it doesn't fit her criteria, what she wants. So it's not good. It's a no-go. And of course, because he's weak. He's going to change his plans. He's going to comply with her. Okay, so what do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. I'll figure something out. That's it. it. She takes all the power away. Guys, don't fall for this trap. Constant shit test. Any little thing you say, she's highly offensive. You know, oh, I, I, that's a nice dress. What do you mean nice dress? It's just a nice dress. I like how it looks. What? Because it's, it's low, it's high? What? No, I just say I like what, you, what you're wearing. It's, it looks good with the hat. What's wrong with the hat? You know, he's like, well, you know, can't create. Can't take a compliment. She takes a compliment, inverts it as an insult. Why? It keeps him off his feet. It keeps him off his game, off his square. Because why? She's secure in her square. She's certain. She has certainty. He's uncertain. Women cannot be attracted to a man that's uncertain. He's uncertain, unhinged. He has no, his boundaries are not there. She creates his boundaries for him. That's a problem. Okay? She's babysitting at this point. Because she's in and, and and in this case with Will and Jada, she's not happy. She's babysitting this guy because he's even less. He's doing. Le he wants to be tough. I get it. I, I, you know. Hopefully, like I said, they'll fix this stuff out. Whatever. But in the meantime, guys, you, you watched it in real time. If not, check out the video. I, get the, I did a video on this thing. But you can't let a woman change your game. If you want to do something, have your head straight and go do it. Have your mindset, I'm doing this, I'll be back, boom, and you just go do what you got to do. Then she, she won't like it, but she'll respect it, go, you know what, he's fucking, you really going? You, I can't believe this. Then you walk out and do what you got to do as a man. She'll go say, you know, I didn't like that, but uh, you know, she got respected. She couldn't hold you back. So you have to get some of this masculinity back, guys. I mean, women can't respect you. If they can't respect you, they can't have sex with you. They can't feel love for you. They can't feel intimate with you. You're too weak. You don't deserve to get what they have. And they're correct by saying that because why? You're coming off limp. If you're coming off limp on the outside, psychologically, if you're like limp, down, and you can't get up, emotionally, and mas with your masculinity and your energy, how are you going to take care of her in the bed? You're still going to be limp and, and you can't believe you're getting some. That kind of thing. She doesn't want to feel it. She wants to feel like a man's going to handle her. You can't handle her outside the bed. What are you going to do inside the bed? <laughs> she, that's, what, that's a woman's mentality, guys. They don't, this, is how they, this is how they register it. This is, what, this is what's coded to them and how they read the code. And this is why they get turned off by weak men. Nice guys and weak men and pleasers. Okay, This is what happens. And this creates her giving you multiple tasks and to do. Do this, do that, run here. It gives you her the, it gives her the mommy child feeling because go do this, go clean your room, take out the garbage, this, that, and go wash the cars, and you run and do everything and run these tasks for her. It's a it's a also a compliance shit test as well. And the more you do, the less value you're giving yourself to her. Yeah, you did all these things for her, and you say everything's done. 
Are you happy? She goes, oh, yeah, it looks good. Thanks. Thanks, hon. And you get a kiss on the cheek because that's all it's worth. It's a soft thank you. Instead, you want to have resistance when it comes to these compliant tests. Hey, I'll do that if you do this. You're going to make some meals, make a meal, whatever. I'll go clean the car or you go, uh, you're going to clean the house, whatever. While you're in here cleaning the house, I'm going to be outside cutting the grass and making sure that the property looks great. That's what you do. You give a, you want to do, you want to, you want to give me a task. I'm going to give you one as well. We're going to have both going to have compliance. Okay. I'll do this. If you do that, you have to have a bargaining chip guys. Don't just run out and do what she says because you're not giving her the challenge. You're not making her physically do something just to physically get involved as well as well and physically invest as you're investing physically. She's got to do something too. It takes two to make this thing work. That's how a real, that's how alphas play. That's how a masculine man's going to play. This is how you use real masculine energy. All right. So listen, guys, like, subscribe, comment below when you hear your family. When your family, I got you. XL and...